during irreversible adiabatic expansion of an ideal gas, what will happen? That is a beautiful question it's based on second law of thermodynamics. Irreversible adiabatic expansion. See, in thermodynamics, we have got two varieties of processes. Basing on the way we perform it, reversible, a hypothetical process, irreversible. Reversible and irreversible. Actually, these are the natural processes that really take place spontaneously. All natural processes, all processes that occur are irreversible and reversible processes are hypothetical. Actually, we cannot perform them, it is only for a theoretical reference we take it. So, the, in a reversible process, system and surrounding will always be in equilibrium, system and surrounding exist in equilibrium, every step whatever damage that happens to system in the opposite way it happens to surrounding. Let it be by means of temperature, by means of heat, by means of work, whatever. So, system and surrounding will always in every small step they exchange the impact, they exist in equilibrium, but in an irreversible process, irreversible process system and surrounding will not exist in equilibrium and they are really taking place processes. These processes are only hypothetical, they only provide a reference for us to study thermodynamics. Now, he is saying irreversible adiabatic, so he selected this process, means what it is happening. Always in thermodynamics, one has to be very careful about the way the process is carried out. The second thing is what are the conditions. The conditions may be sometimes isothermal, temperature may be kept constant, sometimes isochoric, sometimes isobaric. So, we have to worry about whether volume is constant or pressure is constant or temperature is constant, uh, whether heat is exchanged or not between system and surrounding, all those things we should worry about. Uh, then only we can make some good conclusions. So, adiabatic means what? It is a, it's a condition, under what condition the process is taking place. In an adiabatic condition, system and surrounding do not exchange heat. So, Q is 0. Q 0 means what? What is Q basically? Heat exchanged between system and surrounding that is Q. So, irreversible adiabatic exchange. So, there is no heat exchanged and we should always respect first law of thermodynamics. What is first law of thermodynamics? Delta U is equal to Q plus W. So, whenever a system is undergoing a change in energy, that energy change will happen only because of heat and work. Remember, heat and work are not say, systems functions, they are only currency of energy. If at all a system is uh, undergoing a change in energy, it happens only because of exchange of heat with surrounding or exchange of work with surrounding. So, heat and work are the form of transfer of energies, change in energy. I mean, uh, the system's energy would change by means of that. You can say it is a currency the method in which by means in which the system is uh, exchanging energy. So, system is dropping energy means it has lost some heat or it might have done some work. Systems energy raised means it might have received either heat or it might have taken some work from surrounding. So, heat and work are means of energy means of energy. So, a system will not possess heat, a system will not possess work, a system will possess energy. The fluctuations in the energy of a system occur because of heat and work that you should always think. So, that is what first law of thermodynamics tells, this is always true, it is a law. Now, in an adiabatic process Q is 0, system is not uh, uh, exchanging any heat with surrounding. So, delta U is W means what? The energy of the system changes only because of the work, the energy of the system changes only because of the work. Suppose the system does some work, if the system does some work, there will be loss in energy of the system. So, work done is negative in expansion, there will be loss in energy. 
So, delta u will be negative. If work is done on the system, work is positive, work done on the system is positive, this will be positive, there will be increase in internal energy. So, this is always valid for an adiabatic process. He says adiabatic process. Once the process is adiabatic, nothing happens to the surrounding, nothing happens to surrounding. So, adiabatic expansion work and that means it is negative. We have got a sign convention. Expansion work is negative work in IUPAC and uh, compression work is positive as per IUPAC convention. So, he says expansion. So, there is work done means what there will be drop in internal energy because once this is negative, this should be negative and that too if system is doing some work at the cost of its own internal energy, there will be drop in internal energy. Why should you, it do some work at the cost of its internal energy? Because it is not taking any heat from the surrounding because it is a adiabatic process. So, system is working on its own without taking any heat from the surrounding. So, nothing is happening to the surrounding ruled out. In any adiabatic process, nothing happens to surrounding, nothing happens to surrounding. But what happens to the system? System may lose, suppose if it is undergoing expansion work, there will be loss in internal energy. Once there is a loss in internal energy of the system, definitely there should be a drop in its temperature. So, temperature will drop. So, T final will be less than T initial because he said expansion. See how many things are, see the all the three words are very, very important. They have got their own weightage. That is where students get confused in thermodynamics. You have to bother about every word, every word carries some meaning. See, everything is important in my solving this problem. See, he says irreversible, there are two things, reversible and irreversible. He says adiabatic, there are many conditions, adiabatic, isothermal, isochoric, isobaric, you know? so and there is expansion, there can be compression. Expansion and compression will not give the same result. So, everything will have to analyze and then go into the options. So, immediately as soon as you read it, okay, this is a reverse, irreversible means it is happening. So, if it is happening, so what? That also we will think. Second one, adiabatic, okay, nothing is happening to surrounding because surrounding is neither losing heat nor gaining heat. But something is happening in the system without taking heat, system is expanding. How can a system expand without, um, suppose I do not take any, I do not take any food I teach like this my energy level will drop. So, in a similar manner, if the system is doing some work, its energy will come down. Once the energy of the system comes down, the temperature is an expression of the energy of a system. So, temperature will come down. So, there will be drop in temperature. Now, the question is about what? Tem there is one option with temperature, some options with uh, entropy changes. Now, system is expanding. See, try to understand. This is volume 1, temperature 1. Without taking heat, it has changed. Volume 2, temperature 2. See, volume 2 is greater than volume 1 because it is expansion. Temperature 2 is less than temperature 1. Why? Because it is adiabatic expansion because there is a loss in internal energy. So, final temperature will be less than initial, the cooling effect occurs. Fortunately or unfortunately in the question, he is asking about delta S. Who will influence else, uh, entropy of a system, both temperature and volume? Here, the volume is increasing, so entropy increases. Temperature is decreasing, entropy decreases. So, what is the net effect? there is a dilemma. So, because of increment in volume, final volume is more than initial volume. So, should we say entropy increases, but there are simultaneously two things happening. Volume is increasing, temperature is decreasing. Due to increase in volume, entropy should increase. Due to drop in temperature, entropy should decrease. So, what is the net effect? Is temperature effect dominating or volume effect dominating? You will have to be very um, analytical in this aspect. Now, let us refer to once it can be mathematically achieved, 
but as per this particular question is concerned, we can say, uh, conclude the answer by second law statement. What does second law statement tell you? The criteria for spontaneity delta s system plus delta s surrounding put together should be greater than 0 for spontaneity. This is the criteria for spontaneity, overall entropy should increase. Just now I told you surrounding entropy 0 because it is an adiabatic process. So, system entropy only should increase. So, delta S system is greater than 0. Delta S system is greater than means 0 means what? Entropy of the system itself should increase. Now, volume increase, increase in volume is increasing entropy, decrease in temperature is decreasing entropy. Now, obviously, what can you conclude? the expansion effect is more in increasing entropy than cooling effect to decrease in entropy. The cooling effect decreases entropy, expansion increases entropy, still there is an increase in entropy because the process is spontaneous, it is happening. How do you say it is happening? Because it is irreversible. Once a process is irreversible, it is spontaneous. So, the process is spontaneous because it is irreversible. If it is spontaneous, you have to satisfy this condition. If it is satisfied because delta S surrounding is 0, there is no exchange of heat, system entropy should increase. If system entropy should increase means during adiabatic expansion, definitely two things happen. Volume will increase, temperature will decrease. So, decrease in temperature leads to drop in entropy, increase in volume leads to gain in entropy. So, volume term only dominates temperature term because the process is happening because delta S system must be greater than 0. So, increment in volume should increase entropy to a greater extent overcoming the drop in entropy due to drop in temperature. So, that is the beauty of this particular question. See, every word carries a meaning. One has to be very careful. Everything is sensitive in thermodynamic uh, aspects. So, delta S surrounding 0 cannot be the answer because delta S surrounding is zero, uh, greater than 0 is wrong, surrounding nothing is happening. Delta S system greater than 0, yes, because of this conclusion. Overall entropy of the universe should increase because the process is irreversible, nothing is happening to surrounding, so system entropy should increase. Delta S total can never be 0 for an irreversible process. This is a condition satisfied only for a reversible process. Just now I told in a reversible process, system and surrounding will be in equilibrium. So, whatever loss in entropy happens to a system in a reversible process, the gain in entropy of the surrounding will be same. So, put together there will be 0. So, this is not correct for irreversible process. And fourth case, delta, delta T system greater than 0. What does that say? delta T system greater than 0, final temperature is more than initial temperature. That is also wrong because in an expansion process, that to adiabatic expansion process, system makes use of its internal energy. There will be a drop in internal energy because of work done by the system. Due to drop in internal energy, temperature will come down. So, once temperature comes down, delta T must be negative, not positive. I think this, this kind of questions are quite common but less answered. Hardly 10 percent students in the entire uh, competition will answer such questions. So, I wish all the students to answer such questions. They are very beautiful. They give you lot of subject satisfaction. See, in a small question, how many things we can discuss, especially this particular beautiful thing, adiabatic irreversible expansion. Two things are influencing. Even in compression, temperature will raise volume will uh, drop. Due to decrease in volume, entropy will drop. Due to raise in temperature, entropy will increase. If it is irreversible, we should understand the temperature factor will overcome the volume factor and there will be a net increase in entropy of the system. So, I advise all the students to go through all these things in a very um, inquisitive manner. So, 
that is a very God's own science thermodynamics. 